Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Let's try this again. Hi, I'm Barbara. Today I'm going to show you how to test for diamonds using the Diamond Selector 2 that I purchased on Amazon for $14.99. So if you were ever wondering how to test for diamonds yourself at home, keep on watching. Oh, and watch to the end because my two furry sons, Alfie and Fred, just might make an appearance. Hi, it's Barbara. Welcome to my channel, Picky Chick. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to test for diamonds with a Diamond Selector 2, which I purchased on Amazon for $14.99. I have a few pieces of jewelry here to test. Some have real diamonds in them, some do not. So let's unpack the Diamond Selector 2 and test some jewelry for diamonds. So as you can see, it comes neatly packaged. You open the box. It does come with instructions and a little pouch. Inside the pouch is the diamond selector, the diamond tester, and on the side here they give you a little tray. This is used for loose stones so you can place the stones in there when you test them. Today I don't have any loose stones so we're going to work with the diamond selector on the jewelry itself. First thing you do is you turn, it says volume, and it is volume with regard to the beeps it makes, but you just turn that on and you'll see that the lamp on battery will come on. So here's a look at the front. There's a rubber cover on the tip here. There's a little needle that you will be placing on the stone to test to see if it's a diamond or not. It does take about 30 seconds for this lamp on ready to come on and there it goes. But first let's take a look at the back. So on the back, we see this chart. It's a calibration chart. This is a guide to let us know where we want to start. On the other side, there's a little a dial where we have to decide whether to put it on six, four, or two, or any of these other numbers in these columns. So as you see, there's a temperature guide up on top, and on the side is a stone size in carats. So I usually test in a moderate normal room temperature setting. So I usually pay attention to the middle row. And then on the side here, the larger the stone, the smaller number you start out with. So let's just start with that. And I think a picture is worth a thousand words. When I demonstrate this, it'll make more sense. This little panel here, you just need to know that when you test the stone and you have this held in your hand like this that your skin does need to be touching the back like so. So now I'm going to choose a piece of jewelry to test. Let's pick these earrings and according to the size on these earrings and the chart on the back I'm going to pick number four to start the calibration. So this is what I mean. You turn this volume button. Okay, I turned it all the way up, but let's turn it back down and I'm going to choose four. So that means I'm going to have four bars displaying there. So just hold, hold the diamond selector like so with your skin touching the back. I'm going to touch the tip to the stone. Let's pull it up to, to show you. If I touch the metal, it makes a very rapid sound, like so. So you have to try not to do that, or if you do, just keep trying and just touch the stone, just the stone. Okay. As you can see, it just, it just turns yellow. So that tells me it's not a diamond. If it were a diamond, it would go all the way up and light up some red bars at the end. We are going to test some diamonds to show you what that looks like. So let's try another piece. The next item I'm going to test is another earring, but the stones in this are teeny, teeny, tiny. So let me put that down for a minute and show you that uh, because it's really tiny, I'm going to set this at number six to begin with. Because again, the smaller the stone, 
the higher the initial setting. So I'm going to set that on six. I'm going to touch the metal part, little plate on the back. And this is going to be tricky because it's so small. So it's probably, unless I'm really good at this on the first try, it's probably going to make sound from the metal. Ooh. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Let's try this again. And there you go. As you can see, I made contact with the diamond, the stone, with that little pin on the end, and it went all the way up into the red section and made that beeping sound. So that's what it's gonna look like when it's a diamond. So as tiny as these little guys are in here, they're real diamonds. Let's test another piece. This piece here is a necklace that I found in a jewelry jar that I purchased from the thrift store. And if you're new to my channel, um, I do sell on eBay and Poshmark online full time. And on my channel, you will see me do some thrift store jewelry hauls, as well as other types of hauls and just information about reselling. So I did find this in one of the jewelry jars that I found in the thrift store. And I am going to test to see if this stone, which is a pretty nice sized stone, is a diamond or not. Let's see what happens. Oh, and I am starting this off, let's start this off on number three, because it's a bigger stone and we're going to turn that dial down to three to compensate for the larger stone or to start us out there. Let's see what happens. And look at that. Went all the way up into the diamond area, DIA, red, and you heard what the noise was that it made. So that's very good news. So as you can see, this diamond selector pays for itself. I mean, if you do any type of uh, jewelry collecting or you're interested in reselling online, uh, I'm going to put a link to this in the description down below, below this video. So if you are interested in purchasing it, um, it will be down below. I was so excited when I saw that this was a diamond because I did test it before today. I just was so excited that I took it to a jeweler and I did get confirmation that this was indeed a diamond, almost a carat, and it was set in gold, 14 karat gold with a gold uh, necklace so quite thrilled to have found that and here's another pair of earrings that I found in another jewelry jar let's do a test on these and let's see I think I'm going to start this out on number four maybe three it's kind of big let's start out on number three and Let's put it to the test. Now, as you can see, nothing happens. That means it's not a diamond. It's just sitting there. Now, I'm going to turn it down a little bit just in case uh, I don't have it set on the right beginning point. Let's put it down on two and see if that makes any difference. No, it doesn't. So there's your answer. When it's not a diamond, it doesn't move all the way up into the red area and make the beep uh, like it would if it were. Just a quick note that you will need a nine volt battery when you use your diamond selector to test for diamonds. It does not come with a unit. So make sure you have one of these available when you're ready to do the testing. I really hope you found this video helpful. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more tutorial videos like this or suggest any other videos that you might enjoy. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Brad, how many diamonds did you find, baby?
How many diamonds did you find, Alfred? Did you find one? Was it fake? Was it real?